there. This might actually be one of my favorite places in all of Mexico. Good morning guys, hope you're having an amazing day. It is Ping here. Today we are in, obviously, Puerto Escondido in Mexico, but because everything here is closed, the beaches are closed, we're gonna go somewhere else. Now in the previous video, we went south from Puerto Escondido. We visited Masonte and some other beaches, but today we're heading north. We're heading in the opposite direction of the highway, and there's supposed to be a beautiful abandoned island we're gonna go and visit. It's gonna be stunning, I'm so excited, but let's go ahead and get this travel day started. First step of the journey for today, we've got to take a bus to El Zapotalito. That's gonna cost us about 55 pesos, we've just paid it. But we're on the van now, it's a tall, small, sort of tiny little van. And hopefully we'll be there in about an hour, an hour and a half. Well, we've gotten off the bus here, but we're kind of just at this highway. There's like a highway right behind me. This is the road that leads to the little town. And from there, we're gonna take a boat. It's a very long story. It's a very long journey. I'll lead you guys through all of it. But from here, we have to take a taxi in. So we're gonna wait for some other people to show up so that we can get like a colectivo, so it'll be cheaper. Um, but yeah, it's been a good ride so far. Hopefully everything goes to plan. Yo hoy también voy a regresar. Sí, entonces sería como 200 ida y vuelta. ¿Mm? All right, the taxi dropped us off at the town here called something. I can't remember. I cannot remember this name. It just keeps leaving my mind, but it starts with a Z. Anyways, now we're on the boat, and this boat is going to go through the lagoon, through the mangroves, and it's going to take us to our final destination, which is going to be absolutely beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy the boat ride. Well, after about a half an hour, 45 minute boat ride from Zapalito, we have finally made it to our destination for the day. This is Chacao. Chacawa is this, this beautiful little town, and when I mean town, I mean more like village. We're talking about straw thatched roofs, we're talking about, you know, farms, fishermen. It's so local, and it's almost like technology has a touch this place. It's kind of like, you know, maybe Puerto Escondido, maybe 50 or 100 years ago. It's so, so untouched. Unfortunately, the weather looks like it's gonna rain it's just so so unfortunate 
but this place looks amazing. We're gonna head down to the beach first, check out the waves, check out the blue, hopefully blue water, and then after that we'll decide what to do. Well, I know it looks like I have like a pointed head here, but I swear it's just because the wind is blowing in this direction. It's like just blowing, so it looks like all my hair is up in a in like a triangle, but that's not what it's actually like. This beach has got to be one of the best beaches I've ever been to here in Mexico. The beach itself is not actually that amazing. Like the water is blue. I'll give I'll give the water that. The sand is not that nice. The sand is not like a white, pure white color. But for me, it's the vibe that sets this place apart. There's nobody here. There's just literally nobody here. Nobody comes here. It's so insanely quiet. It's just you and the waves. Now, most people come to Chacawa to surf. And you'll see a lot of surf camps, surf rentals. When you go like into the ocean, you can see a bunch of people just surfing because the waves here are incredible and there's nobody here. So that's why a lot of surfers will come here to surf as compared to Puerto Escondido where there's so little space and so many surfers. But like I said, it's a pretty hard place to get to, which means that everything here is probably a little bit pricier. We're gonna go get lunch. I'm curious what the prices are around here, but hopefully it won't kill my wallet. But like I said, this place is just quiet. It's beautiful. And at the same time, it's not as, you know, hippie as Mazunte. I don't feel like, you know, vegans are everywhere. It, it feels good. It feels nice. I really, really like it. And I wish I could stay a night. There's tons of accommodation options, tons of restaurants. And from what I understand, the accommodation isn't too pricey, like 300, 400 pesos a night. So, it's absolutely affordable, but here we are on a swing on the beach here in Chakawa. We're gonna go ahead and get lunch, but the shots I've gotten here and the, the waves and everything, it's just absolutely stunning. Just along the beach side here, we've come to a restaurant known as El Paraíso del Mar. They've got a lot of food, ceviche, whole roasted fish and everything, but I wanted to try out what the Western food is like since there's so many Westerners here. So I got spaghetti and shrimp, which is what, you know, is Western food, but it looks pretty interesting. All right, let's go ahead and try some of this pasta out. It's not bad. It's not the best pasta I've had, but it's good. Like if I was gonna live here for a few days, I could live on this. Definitely not a bad option when you're here on the beach. Well, after that decent plate of shrimp pasta, time to burn off those calories. Let's go on to the other side. Well, and just like that, we are on the other side here in Chakawa. Why are we on the other side? Well, because there is a lighthouse. I think it may be an abandoned lighthouse that is on top of this hill on the other side of Chakawa. Chakawa is kind of like a city that sits at the mouth of a river from the ocean. So now that we're on the other side, we're gonna go ahead and hike up to the top of the mountain. Let's go. This is not an easy hike. Literally, there are rocks like this that you've got to climb up. It is insane how difficult this hike is. It's not like physically very challenging, but mentally you've got to think about the way you're gonna climb up and that's why it's a little bit more difficult. All right, turns out that the hike was difficult, but it really wasn't that long. It was like 15 minutes and I got up here. I didn't realize it was gonna be that quick, but you can see the lighthouse is right there, right behind me. And the best part is because it's completely abandoned, 
you can climb it. So we're gonna go and climb this abandoned lighthouse. Well, we climbed to the top, but gotta say, not really a great idea. There is barely any space here, and you have a nice view out the window right there, but it smells like pee. It's cramped in here. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this place. Well, you can't climb to the top of the lighthouse, but you can climb to the top of the building next to the lighthouse. So, it's still a pretty good view, and it is just incredible how abandoned this place is. There's like nobody, there's just nobody here. But it's so beautiful. I literally can't believe it. The wind is really strong, so I'm not sure if I can find my drone, but we're gonna try it. Drone. If I flew my small drone, that small drone would have crashed into a million pieces because this is really, really strong wind. I mean, the ocean breeze is blowing in all the way from, you know, Asia, the Pacific. So it's very, very windy up here. We're going to pack up our stuff and then we are going to head back down at the bottom of the hill to get the boat again. And just like that, we are back on the ground. We are not on the mountain anymore. We've gotten down. Now we just need to find our boat driver. Hopefully he hasn't ditched us and gone somewhere else and get back onto the other side. Well, I'm waiting for the boat guy to pick me up, but I think he ditched me. <laughs> I think we have to wait a little bit longer because he said he would come back in an hour and a half. It hasn't been an hour and a half, so I'm giving him some time and hopefully he hasn't ditched me because I have his money. And if you did just me, that would really, really suck. In the meantime, the owner of this restaurant, Falafa, wants me to sort of promote the restaurant, but I don't know who wants to talk about it, so that's gonna be interesting. But hopefully the boat will come soon. I hope he didn't ditch me. All right, so slight change of plans. Instead of going back to the other side of Chakawa, we're just going to head back to Sapolite, which is where the, the original port is because someone just offered to give me a ride back to Puerto from there. So if we just take the boat there, that'll be more you know, easier and it'll be more direct. So that's what we're gonna do. And my boat captain is right there. He's gonna take us all the way through the marshes and all that. So let's get onto the boat. experience my camera is drenched I am drenched totally drenched but we're gonna get on the car now and get our way back to Puerto Escondido and just like that about an hour an hour and a half on the car we are back here in Oaxaca thanks so much to my friends who managed to give me a free ride back that was absolutely exceptional anyways today has been an absolutely amazing day we're gonna talk about Chacala I have to say Chacala is one of the most amazing places I've been to in Mexico. First of all, there's nobody there. It's literally just so, so remote. Only locals go there. It's such a beautiful place to be. Second, the scenery is amazing. When you're taking that boat through the mangroves, that is probably one of the most beautiful boat rides I've ever done. Going through the trees with everything, it's just absolutely stunning. And it's not very expensive either. It's only like 100, 150 pesos if you're able to negotiate. That becomes a hundred. And 
and obviously the lighthouse the heights of the lighthouse is also really really amazing with the beautiful view it's really really windy there but it's absolutely worth the effort and it's really not that hard of a hike it was only maybe about 10 minutes 15 minutes and i was up to the top so it's beautiful anyways if i were to come to mexico again if i were if i were to come to puerto escondido chacawa would absolutely be on the top of my list it's a national park the thing is that because it's so well protected by the government there's so much biodiversity everything's clean everything's nice and although you know it can get wet it can get muddy it's still just a beautiful place to be the water is really really blue unfortunately the sun didn't come out today and shine over the water but if it did i am absolutely confident that water would just be crystal clear blue colored because that's what usually happens all right anyways that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this day trip from puerto escondido to chacawa i highly highly recommend it and it's not that hard to get to chacawa it's just a bus ride a taxi ride and a boat ride that's it and then you're there in paradise honestly it's beautiful you've got palm trees it it is a little hidden paradise here in mexico so if you're in puerto escondido definitely go ahead and check it out i'll see you guys on the next video make sure to stay subscribed stay tuned and i hope you guys look forward to the next video here from mexico bye guys